Good evening to you, viewers of South Sudan Television. We are having an uh, official statement from the government of the Republic of South Sudan on the attacks of the rebels on SPLA positions this morning. Press a statement. Rebel leader Riyak Machar attacks SPLA positions in total violation of the agreement to resolve the crisis in South Sudan rich in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia on the 9th of May 2014. This morning, the 11th of May 2014, the rebels of Riyak Machar attacked three SPLA positions at 6.30 a.m. Rebel forces loyal to Dr. Riyak Machar attacked the positions of our national army, the SPLA in Rubkona, that is Bentu. The rebels were repulsed, leaving 27 of their soldiers dead and many types of ammunition and other military hardware captured. Further, at 8.30 a.m., the rebels attacked our forces at Kilo 50 between Bentu and Tharjath. The rebels of Riyak Machar were repulsed, leaving casualties and a variety of military hardware captured. Furthermore, the rebels also attacked our forces in Mathiang at 9.15 a.m. These unprovoked attacks obviously undermined the agreement to resolve the crisis in South Sudan, reached between His Excellency the President of the Republic of South Sudan, General Salva Kiir Mayardit, and rebel leader Riyak Machar in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, on Friday, the 9th of May, 2014. This violation of the agreement followed threats made by Riyak Machar's commander, Brigadier General Makal Kwon, that their forces will attack, attack Rubkona after 12 hours from the time of the signing of the agreement. This was revealed in an interview made by the rebel commander with Sudan Tribune on Friday, the 9th of May, 2014. This unprovoked attack is done in fulfillment of instructions given to him by his commander, Riyak Machar himself, while in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, just hours after signing the agreement. The good news is that all these attacks were witnessed by enemies, commanders, and forces in the two areas. The government of the Republic of South Sudan calls upon the U.S. Secretary of State, John Kerry, the U.N. The UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon and the Chairman of IGAD, His Excellency Haile Mariam de Salen, both of whom worked tirelessly to stop Riyak and his cohorts from pursuing his senseless, murderous war in South Sudan. The government of South Sudan reiterates its commitment to respect the agreement reached with the rebels on the 9th of May 2014 and calls upon the international community particularly the U.S., U.N., and IGAD, to record these attacks and to prevail on the rebels from attacking government military positions. The government of the Republic of South Sudan warns the rebels, warns the rebels that any further attacks will be interpreted as a total violation of the agreement and the government will have no alternative but to protect its people and territorial integrity of the Republic of South Sudan. The government of the Republic of South Sudan seizes this opportunity to profoundly express its gratitude to the UN, the United States, IGAD, and the rest of the international community for their concern and assistance to return our country to peace, security, and prosperity. Signed, Dr. Martin Elia Lomuro, Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Government of the Republic of South Sudan. Thank you.